conditions. The biggest concern uh, for the workers there is the fact they're not being issued with enough what are called dosimeters. These are personalized or handheld devices which can tell them just how much radiation uh, is around them and whether they're in danger levels. Uh, let me give you some examples of, of what these dosimeters look like. Um, we've been issued with one here. They can either come in sticker form like this, a little yellow sticker with a gauge that the darker it gets tells you how more dangerous it is. Um, you get a wrist version which starts to bleep rather like an alarm clock. It looks like a wristwatch but it's a black disc on a strap and that will start bleeping when things get dangerous. You get a pager version and you get a pen version. Now TEPCO, the plant operator, says look we've only got 300 of these. There's 600 of you out there. We just can't distribute them to absolutely everybody. Says it's going to try to however. No wonder the workers are getting so terrified. You know we broke that story here two days ago about the Fukushima 50 saying they expect to die. The world's now picked up the rest of that story and they're hearing from more workers about they too have accepted their fate that they are going to die of radiation poisoning. It must be very challenging for them if they're not given the equipment and then being sent into the reactors and sent across the plant complex not knowing just how much danger they're actually in and especially when the government keeps saying actually the data we're giving you on radiation levels isn't actually accurate anyway. We're going to mm. have to keep retesting. All in all a terrible tragic dilemma for the guys there. Certainly is. Oh, Dominic, thank you for the great reporting you've been doing, however disturbing it may be. Dominic Di Natale.